trouble anything at all. Uh, debugging is pretty interesting because generally people find this topic boring. And I think I'm going to tr try and make it a little more interesting because the standard methods of debugging probably won't interest most people, and most people aren't ever going to touch the flex profile. <laughs> um, but instead, there are cooler things you can use, like just as simple as uh, tracing the flash outcome. They already have like a big error link. But Flash actually produces its own error log that you can put into anything you want, really. This is an add-on for Firefox called Flash Trace, which is essentially just reading the uh, error log. But you actually pick up some interesting stuff when browsing the web with this turn on. And I'll show you some of the more interesting. YouTube, uh, YouTube and Last.fm have some fantastic <laughs> error logs. Nice. Uh, I haven't tried... Uh, to ignore my uh, music taste. <laughs> you, can see, you can see that the Flash is running all their trace statements. And it's, produce, and it's producing this file which Firefox is picking up. And uh, I'm not sure if it'll stream from down here, the actual radio itself. But, uh, Last.fm is actually... Uh, I actually really like listening to Last.fm. And it's, and it's unfortunate because while the radio is playing, they produce a constant stream of errors. They have an update function running, and it produces an error maybe every split second, so you can't debug while listening to the radio. <laughs> it's, it's very irritating. Uh, could make a nice visualization out of it, though. <laughs> you probably could. And, uh, and there's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, I won't get into the... I won't get into too much depth, but I have a terminal shell open, and you can even just, uh, if you tail the flash log, because it's just a text file, so in, a, in Unix, essentially, you can <laughs> just watch the file and see, see its updates. And, a, and a, an interesting one to go to is, there you go. <laughs> So even Flash itself is producing this massive list of errors. Oh well, boy. Because by itself it is an actual player. So outside of the Flash player window right now. Essentially, all I'm doing is saying "hello world" ten times. But if you if you look in Firefox, it's there. If you look in the terminal, it's there. And this is for any website, essentially. So, I mean, Last.fm refuses to work. But some of the more interesting ones that I've seen in the past and that I thought were always really interesting to see. Uh, what's the shortcut key to go back to a slide? Probably really helpful to know. Um, so these are all the different methods, and I'll show you one more, which is Monster Debugger in a second. But these are some interesting quotes that I've seen in trace statements from, <laughs> from yeah. anyone who oh, saw these geez. on YouTube. Uh, the first YouTube one was about a year ago, and that was, I, I've, I've had my flash load open for a while, and I thought that was one of the funnier ones. <laughs> and I, I think it was, amongst the flash community at least, it was pretty viral, and everyone was kind of joking about YouTube being finally able to show <laughs> and uh, up until a month ago, they had the we got meta, fuck yeah. And I don't know how long that's been up there, but I guess yeah. they finally got meta. One of the flash devs left the, the tracing. I don't know if they do it purposely, but uh, I actually make an attempt nowadays whenever I try to build something to kind of sneak in a trace statement that says something ridiculous. One really practical thing that has worked really well for us is that if you're working on a project where you're turning over your files to a server side dude um, you know once you turn it over you really have no control over what happens with it but using a tool like this you have a way of checking on what they're doing right so in one case the server guy was like swearing there was a problem with our files 
And I look in this thing, I'm like, you haven't uploaded the right file. He's like, yeah, yeah, we did. I'm like, no, as of 9 a.m., you certainly haven't uploaded the right file. The one you've uploaded is version blah, 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 because I'm just tracing out a version number in this tool. So, uh, even, yeah, like even just stuff for like sending off work to, to clients, like when you're done with it, if you put a, a simple trace at the beginning with a version number and then they say, well, we uploaded it, it's not working. Mm -mm -mm. You can trace the outcome and say, no, it's, this is definitely not it. Yeah, that That's confuses it. them because they're like, how the hell do you know that? You know, it's like, I'm a magic <laughs> flash dude, I just know. So, um, I have to mention this because I'm a games actually have this with pretty much every game. I'm not sure if anyone's ever been. It's like a, it's like the alternative addictive games website. A lot of addictive games have these too. But armor games generally have this in every game. <laughs> <laughs> if you go into the settings, it always really amuses me. Like, why the fuck do Flash games even have settings? And I guess their developer is a little bit pissed at the time. <laughs> but no, it's tr honestly, it's true. They don't really toggle much. Um, so JS to FL, FL commands. Mm. I, I, unfortunately, I can't show you how to make these. I just don't time permitting. It's not viable. But I can show you their use. And I'll post. Pardon me. I'll post a bunch of links to my blog later where you can pick up these commands. And I'm going to show you. This. I'm going to show you how to. Rotating, uh, something I used to have to do a lot. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's had this, well, I'm sure everyone's had this request before in the flash world, but you want a set of images to just rotate, fade in, fade out, pretty simple thing, but I, spent, I guess starting out as a flash developer, like you, you work in a lot of low, low profile cases, and it was just, you know, I just want simple banners like this, and you kind of get to a point where it's like, I need to find a way to automate this process, and that's where JSFL commands come in handy. Because what I can actually do now is just hit import, which takes forever in Flash for that reason. So I have my five images right there, and then I can actually just go into commands and say, from my library, create an empty movie clip from each of these, which has given me five movie clips. Right And then I can go into my snippets panel, and if I go down here, I think I have Rotate Children. So this is basically just taking every movie clip mm -hmm. on the stage. You can see Tim laughing already, because I had a timeline of this one done. imported five, which you, which isn't so much of a big deal, especially if you, like, it won't take you that long to import five images and name them or put them on the stage, but the fact that you can import them and run one command to have that all done for you, like, you have to think about it in terms of, like, if you had a hundred images, mm -hmm. or if you had, if you had, like, a hundred assets that you wanted changing to movie clips because you had to alter them in some way, it, it's a huge... It's a huge time saver. And I mean, there's a few other ones that I can't really go into in some, some stage, but even just stuff like, uh, I think I have brushed. Let me one of these. Uh, even just things like, and I don't know why this isn't built into Flash, but like aligning it to stage, that's now in the center of my stage. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be yeah. a command that's in Flash. And, and the oh, thing is, there's makes no sense. like in existence, in all of existence, there's only one book that shows you this stuff. Yes, it's called no, no, Extending Flash it. MX. Like, that's how old it is. It goes back to MX version of Flash, and there hasn't that's been a crazy. book since then. But this is all available in there. And, and like, seriously, 
what a huge time saver. Like, you show some shit that, you show some stuff like that to your employer, and they're like, you're a magic guru. You, you do magic in here, you know? Like, That's true. I mean, there's a whole bunch of commands, and I'm really going to put up a post later on tonight that will, will explain them in detail, because, I mean, I, I, I don't know how I'd live with some, without some of these commands nowadays. Mm -hmm. so the time that these save is, is unbelievable. 